What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Dude, we are we are in for it today. Let me tell you, my friend. Today I am going to be trying the new Naughty Nudes palette from Huda Beauty. Is all that I quite frankly have to say. <laughs> this is the palette that has the maybe the weirdest shade in the history of shades in it, which is this color down here called Slippery. I took some close-up shots before I put my finger in it. You'll see that later in the video as we go through the look and do the swatches. So if you haven't seen it elsewhere on the internet, it is a clear gel eyeshadow with little fucking balls in it. Balls of what, you ask? Um, quite frankly, just eyeshadow. Doesn't look like that in the pan because they're like red and they look like really medical. And I don't mean medical like medical treatment. It looks like a medical problem. It looks like a rash or like some kind of a boy. It's not cute. However, when I saw it, I knew immediately that I clearly had to try it. I needed to know, which brings me to my next point, which is that Huda is a master marketer. She is the top of the game in marketing stuff. She is a genius and um she gets me every time and probably you too and millions of other people and that's why she lives in an actual palace i'm pretty sure this palette has quite a few interesting shades in it it has a lot of like these like swirly whirly shades going on in here so i'm going to swatch the more interesting ones on my fingers i'm going to swatch the most interesting one of all slippery on the bottom so that we can see what it looks like you're not ready you're not ready. I promise you, if you think you're ready, you're not actually ready. And I'm gonna do this look right here that's on my face. So that's the plan today. What do you guys think? You don't have a choice. That's what we're doing. Also, fair warning, I myself as a human being am for some reason in an absolute shit show today. I did so many stupid things during this filming session. Wow. Wow. Also, um, I'm going to try to keep it out of frame, but I do have a crusty fresh tattoo and I'm sorry if you have to look at any of that during any of this video. I don't think it was like ever close up into camera, but I can't guarantee it. So if it's gross, I sorry. I think that's all we need to like actually discuss before we get into it. So leave a like on this video if you uh, like me or if you wanted to help me out, because it's very helpful and I would really appreciate it. And also if you're new around here, you didn't watch the video yet, so like it's pretty early to ask you to subscribe, but like if you watched a couple already and you're on the fence and you're thinking about it, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you stick around. It'd be so great. We have a lot to get into today and we have like a lot of an emotional roller coaster ahead of us, so I'm just gonna get into it. So let's just get into it. Start out by taking a close up look at what this palette looks like on the inside and then swatching these very interesting shades before we put this look on my face. All right, it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna be honest with you, not swatching this shit when I got it in the mail was maybe one of the hardest things I've ever done in my whole life and I'm not being dramatic. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. There are quite a few very interesting shades in here. We all know why we're here. It's this. It's slippery. What is, what is that? What is it? Like, what and why? You know what I mean? If I was a good YouTuber, I would leave these swatches for the end of the video so that it would like increase my watch time or whatever it is that I'm supposed to think about when I make these videos. I can't even do that. So I'm just gonna quick finger swatch the more interesting shades in this palette. We're gonna start with the swirly ones and then we're gonna do slippery, okay? That's the plan. And then we'll do a look. And maybe I'll use slippery on my eyes. I just have so many questions about slippery and the reason that I have so many questions really is because so it is little pearls suspended in gel. Okay. All right. Simple enough. First of all, it looks like clear jello with uh, Guerlain meteorites in it. Second of all, there is like so much clear in there and not that many pearls. Um, also, why? And um, most importantly, how is it going to perform? Because if this is a gel, then most likely it doesn't set because if it's set, it would like dry up in this palette because the palette isn't airtight. So is it gonna crease? I have so many questions. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the color Passion. This one is one of those swirly shades and we just wanna see what it looks like when I swatch it on my finger. That's what Passion looks like. Okay, actually, 
I like that a lot. Next I'm going to swatch Flower Power because this one also looks very interesting and pretty. Let's dip into the shade Hard. All right, well, um, that one's just brown. And next, the shade Provocative. Let's see what the deal with that one is. That color is actually very pretty, I like that. Okay. First, I'm gonna wipe these all off my fucking fingers so we can swatch Slippery because the moment has arrived. It's time, it's time. I'm wiping, it's time. What do you guys think this is gonna feel like? I just, I feel like this is such an adventure right now. Okay, it feels like lip balm. It feels like lip balm on my finger. And um, that's what the swatch looks like. Bro, what? There's nothing there. What the fuck? Uh, is it slippery because it slips right the fuck away and doesn't give you any pigment? Because like, look, I'm like digging. I'm digging into this and I'm getting nothing. Like there's like a hint of like a pink blush shade on my finger. What is, what is happening? <laughs> ah, are you kidding me? There's nothing there. <laughs> what the fuck? Should I dig in with a brush? What do I even do right now? Do I like swirl until it starts to make sense? I'm like, Okay, I can see right now that there is some color being smashed onto the brush. Okay, we have color. There's color there. Let's try to swatch it from the brush onto the back of my hand. Let's see what happens. Again, it's really sheer. That doesn't even look like eyeshadow. It looks like a tinted lip balm. Um, it barely has any pigment at all. And you know what's interesting is that when I got mine, I looked in here and I said to myself, hmm, mine looks like it has so much clear jello in it. And it does because it's, <laughs> it's, it's essentially clear. Like I had to dig like a maniac to get any color out of that. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I do wanna know how this wears, but like what's the point of knowing how this wears when it looks like shit just like, when you use it, you know, if it's gonna look like caca, like who cares how it wears? Like if who cares if it creases, if it doesn't look good? Like, yeah, please crease so I can take you off and start over. Also, I just rubbed my hand and like, it's completely gone. It's literally like a clear tinted lip balm. What is happening? I have not watched any other reviews of this because I really didn't want to spoil my experience. Were other people having the same thing? Uh, I don't even know if I can incorporate this into a look. And you know what, guys? This fucking color sucks. It is a gimmick. It was a marketing ploy. You know what? Bravo, Huda, you got me because I bought this palette just to see what that was. And it's caca. And here I am. You guys, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm so <laughs> not, I'm not even mad. It's so funny. Like, what the fuck? Like, I am mad? But I'll be less mad if the rest of this palette's actually good. So let's uh, let's grab a brush and start doing an eye look, shall we? Because <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna take my BH number six brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Juicy. I'm also, <laughs> I'm texting people about this color as I do it because I can't, I just can't. I'm gonna take a little bit of Juicy on my BH number six and I'm gonna start working that through my crease. As usual, the actual shades in the Huda palette are quite pigmented, it seems. That's nice. That looks good. I'm gonna take a clean brush and blend the edge of that up toward my brow. I don't wanna bring that up too high. It is really pigmented. And from what I remember working with the Huda full size palettes, that's kind of how the formula is usually, unless it's like um, clear menstruation. Usually they are very, very pigmented and also they blend really well. So putting it in the crease and then working it with a clean brush is usually the move. I'm gonna stick my E36 brush. I'm gonna go into a little bit of the shade Untamed and I'm gonna work that through the more concentrated part of my crease just to deepen it up. This, this palette has like all the tones in like the same family. So you don't really have to think that hard about what you're putting and whether it's gonna work together or not. All right, so I wanna utilize those swirly shades a bit. Flower Power, Passion, and Provocative were actually all pretty delicious looking. So I'm gonna use them 
um, all over my lids, but I want to give myself like a little bit of like space to do it so that it looks extra structured and cool. So I'm going to do a bit of a cut crease. And I think by a bit of a cut crease, I mean, I'm going to like cut more than half of it, sort of like a half cut crease, but like a two thirds cut crease. Is that a thing? It is today. So I'm gonna take some of my Urban Decay concealer in the color Pure White on the back of my hand and put that on my Nabla Cut Crease brush and I'm just going to begin cutting myself a new crease and just bringing that over the rest of the lid. I'm gonna grab a MAC 242 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Flower Power. This was like that green swirled into a light brown kind of a shade. I'm gonna pick that up on that flat brush. I'm gonna use that for the inner corner of the cut. No, I gotta neaten this up a little bit or it's going to bother me. You know, the truth is you probably won't notice when all is said and done. It's gonna get stuck in my craw. Take that shade packed onto that brush, put it right on the inner corner area of the eye. Next on the same brush, I just wiped it off on a paper towel. In between, I'm gonna go into the shade Passion, which is like a brown, plum blue sort of a shifty swirl and I'm gonna pack that over the center portion of the lid okay this shade I really like I kind of I know I understand that they put these like swirly interesting different shades in there to attract people's attention but, like I wish this shade looked like it was gonna look in the pan because I would be more inclined to want to use it because I would know, ooh, that's gonna look so sick. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go back into Flower Power on a smaller brush. This is a Nabla Smudger brush, and I'm just gonna bring it right over that blue so they can blend together. I'm gonna take that same MAC 242 brush again. I'm gonna go into the shade Provocative, and I'm gonna use that shade right next to where I put down Passion, kind of toward the outer corner of the lid because I am going to use that to bridge the gap between those shimmers and the mattes that we put through the crease. On my Sigma E36 again, I'm gonna go back into Untamed and I'm just gonna tickle that in the outer corner in like a little circular motion and then sweep it up into the crease so that it like, I don't know, like connects that crease down to the corner of the eyeball. And what I'm also going to do because you know what? Mm. Take a little detail brush. This is a Bobbi Brown fine liner brush. I'm going to go into the shade Spicy, which is the darkest matte shade in this palette. And I'm going to take Spicy right along the top edge of where we cut that crease just to define it a little bit because I don't feel like those colors are popping enough against the crease shades and I want them to. I'm going to use that to just literally draw a line and then just blend it with the Sigma E36 brush that we used earlier. I was gonna add just a black winged liner to this look, but then I decided that I'm feeling colorful today and I instead am going to use the Melt Gel Liner in the color Fortuna. I don't think they have this one available anymore, but any dark green liner will give you the same effect. So I'm gonna take a bit of that and scoop it into the cap work it onto my Nabla angled brush and I'm going to create the shape first roughly with the bigger brush and then I'm going to perfect it with a little nail art brush because that is how I like to do it. That's how I like to do it. This was a good choice. Look at those colors together. That looks good. Damn. Fucking good choice, Nicole. Okay, a conceal that I powdered. I'm going to take a pencil brush and go back into the shade Flower Power. This time, I'm purposely going to only dip it into the brighter parts of the swirl. Let's see if I can use that as an inner corner highlight that's brighter than the surrounding shades. Ooh, yes, that works. Oh, ooh, they're customizable, ma'am. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go into the shade Arouse on a BH number seven. I'm gonna start running that underneath the lower lashes bringing it down pretty low, sweeping it right up underneath the wing. I'm gonna grab a MAC 228 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Spicy and I'm gonna use that just to kind of line the lower lashes in the outer corner and fade it into the underneath side of the wing just to kind of like snatch that corner just a little bit and lift it up. And I feel like I want this look to be a little bit more open today. So I'm gonna grab, I can't find any of my nude pencils that I like. So I'm gonna just use the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I'm gonna go into the definer shade that's just like a nude and I'm gonna use that in my waterline. I actually love this thing. I know it looks so gimmicky, but I wind up using it all the time for various things. So there you go. Good job, Benefit. Mm. 
Okay. I'm taking a little bit of an intermission, but I just needed to tell you guys what just happened. Um, I went downstairs to get the lashes that I wanted to wear. And also a protein cookie just in my mouth right now. I'm sorry for eating and talking, but it was in the moment. I put the cookie down and the lashes down. And then when I picked the cookie up, the lashes were stuck to the cookie and I almost ate my lashes, you guys. Mm. What if I, if I eat a pair of eyelashes by accident one day, I quit. And by quit, I mean I quit life. Like I'm going to live in the woods and like retire or something, help me. Mm, my lash glue exploded all over my hands. It's dripping down the side of its own tube. Oh, I'm not okay today. Huda has cursed me with the shade Slippery. It was a curse. Okay, I think I sort of maybe got my shit together and I'm gonna cut my losses and just go with a staple nude lip. I still have glue on my finger. There's still glue on there. Get out of here. I'm gonna go with a staple nude lip because you know what? You have to know your limits some days and I'm at my limit apparently, which I shouldn't be because I didn't even do anything else today that would push me to my limits, but here we are. So I'm gonna grab the Nobles Stylo Arrow, what is this? <laughs> Good Lord. The Nobla Cupid's Arrow Stylo number one, it's a nude shade. And then I am going to go over the top of that on my lips with Spiked Apple Cider from Buxom. Just a gloss, in case you were wondering. And this is a liner. Did I even say that? I'm just gonna zoom in and put it on my lips and just hope for the best. And this is the finished look. Okay, so we did a look and we swatched some shit. And you know, what the fuck, Huda? What is this palette? This palette is a nice palette. It's good, it's pretty. Some of these swirly shades are not quite as exciting as you might think they are. Like, I feel like they look very pretty on my lids, but like they're not knocking my socks off, but they're really pretty. I think on a whole, it's really nice. The quality's good, everything blended well, everything looks real cute. I have no issues with it, except for that one shade, because quite frankly, it looks really weird and it got my attention. It is unusable, unusable. And I know there are gonna be people who are gonna complain that I didn't use it in a look today, I'm telling you that it was like having chapstick with a little bit of shimmer in it on my hand. When I tell you that it was unusable, like I know enough to know that that was not gonna do well on my eyes. It just wasn't. And it also looked like almost nothing. Like it was, I could see my skin right through it. Even after digging the brush in, like I was trying to dig a hole to the other side of the planet. So my conclusion is that Slippery sucks. It's a shitty shade. Uh, it got my attention and I spent my money on this palette just for that. And you know what? Good for you, Huda. You got me, okay? You got me. It was like, oh, what's that shade? Oh, oh, oh. That looks like postules, let me buy it. And, and here we are, and I'm making a whole video about it and I'm giving you more publicity. And that is how marketing works, so good job. But also, next time you do something so fucking weird, can it work a little, like this much work? Cause like, even if this was just a decent shade, I would have been okay with it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this one. I feel like you guys are gonna have things to say. Will you not get it because you don't wanna be duped into buying something because there's a weird shade in it that you're curious about? Cause like, honestly, like I fell on that sword for you. So now you don't have to, you know what I mean? And that makes me less mad about it too. <laughs> Like I said earlier, please don't forget to leave a like on this video because it's very helpful and I would really appreciate it and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying this content. And if you're new around here, subscribe because I would love to have you around for more videos. I don't usually almost eat a pair of eyelashes, um, which is either a good thing or a bad thing for you, depending on how you look at it, you know? If you want to keep up with my dumb ass between videos, you can go find me on Instagram. I'm at Miss Quinface over there and I would love to have you be part of that little crew as well. I update my stories all the time. I also post lip art and stuff that doesn't make it to this channel. So if you're into that kind of thing, come find me. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in the next one.